Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. W211, W203 and W209. You might wonder how to remove this uh, cigarette uh, blighter compartment at the front of the gear shifter easily. Today I'm going to show you how to remove this and how to swap this part if you need to. So the CLK500 that I've got had a broken arms over here as you can see the both arms are broken and, and i don't want to glue them back because i know they will break again so you need to have your uh, gear shifter in n or uh, d to be able to pull out this uh, cigarette lighter compartment what you can do is open the ashtray uh, compartment area and you just need to pull this uh, pull this board for the gear shifter up and you don't even need to remove this bezel uh, gear shifter bezel you just need to pull it out because there is a big clip over here pull it forward and at the same time out so it's now released from all these sides and now all you want to do is just take it higher towards the gear shifter and now it's stuck there so that that gives us enough space to take off the ashtray compartment without or cigarette lighter compartment without any paint so all you need to do now is using a small screwdriver pry behind pry the, behind this plastic uh, clips over here and push up so it's released from this side now let's do the other side so pry behind this plastic and push up and that's released now and then all you want to do is just gradually and slowly slide it out and here you got your cigarette lighter compartment well it's not finished yet you need to take off two harnesses from here there are two connectors over here and the, the removal of the cigarette lighter uh, connector is a bit tricky because your first impression would be that you should uh, pull it this way but you actually need to pry behind it from this side and it comes from the other way and and that's how you remove it you see how it goes in you don't need to push on any tabs you just need to pry it this way so this is released there's one more to do and that's the light and it is possible by pushing on this tab over here and using a little screwdriver of course it's not easy with one hand and there you go it's out so I bought uh, one of these from Rickers but it doesn't have the cover my cover is okay so I want to put my cover on the uh, good mechanism and then put everything back so as you can see over here there are two grooves on both sides of this uh, lid and that's where and that's where the clip for uh, the cover is so if you want to remove your uh, cover you just need to pry behind this clip over here the plastic clip so that's what I'm going to do now
you just need a little screwdriver to go behind and there you go it's already separated and more from the other side pry the clip and it's separated and now you have your cover and now I'm able to swap this on the good mechanism by just putting it back and bang one more tip you want to do is uh, this area is the rail area that this uh, uh, the mechanism works and locks the cover you need to clean this area with a brush because most of the time it's it gets dusty and greasy so if you clean this area you will have a better functioning door and as you can see it's now functional and working again nice and easy project all right guys thanks for watching and have a great day